Yes, a very, very good Monday morning to you. My name is Hilda Wadidi, and as you know, you're watching Why in the Morning only on Y254 channel. It is about time we delve into youth and politics. We do this every Monday. And today we have a very special topic because in light of all the drama we've seen on social media when it comes to some of our leaders, we want to talk about reputation management. Here in Kenya, it appears the badder you are, the more popular you are. So before we delve into that conversation, I'd like my guests with me in studio to introduce themselves, and then we can start this off. Cindy off. And if you do want to uh, participate in the conversation, it's at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag Y in the morning, hashtag youth and politics if you'd like to be more specific. On Instagram, we're at Y254 underscore channel. On Facebook, Y254. So, Twende Kazi. Good morning, everybody. My name is Matoke Patrick Osebe, Elias Ambassador, the youth governor in Yamira County. Move as the CEO, compassionate out of Mimanti, Kenya. Mm -hmm. He is humble to be around. Oh, morning, my name is uh, Udi Mokua, an undergraduate student and also an accountant. I'm glad to be in the show to talk about uh, the youth and politics and then we talk about the reputation of our leaders. Mm -hmm. yes. All right. Okay, morning. <coughs> my name is uh, Vincent Onyango, a student, uh, also a, a member of a Youth Appeal. Mm -hmm. I'm a uh, CIA County Coordinator. Mm -hmm. Thanks to be here. CIA County Coordinator, okay. <laughs> Uh, good morning, guys. My name is Esther Mudoni Irongo from Muranga County. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm the vice chair of youth governance in Kenya, Muranga County, mm -hmm. a student at African Nazarene University mm -hmm. and also doing work in Milele FM. Mm. Milele FM, I'm glad to see the media here. <laughs> good morning. I'm Kevin Odiambo Swago. Uh, I'm a, a national coordinator. Uh, in national youth and governance, mm -hmm. and uh, I also uh, represent uh, youth, youth, the Youth Republic that is in Kibra, and uh, it's a combination of Kibra and Langata. So I'm a national coordinator, and uh, in general, uh, I've been in politics, and uh, I've been passed in Sonu, and politics is my thing, and I would like to discuss more about uh, the youth and governance, especially. Thank you. Asante. Good morning, Kenyans. Uh, I'm Kerry Mwigai. I'm a student at Kenyatta University, and I come from Nakuru County. Great. Hey, good morning, Kenya. Hey, my name is Sally Mimoni. I'm the director of Youth and Governance Initiative Turkana Chapter. I'm a student leader, and also I represent the Turkana University Student Association in the northern part of Kenya. Thank you. Uh, good morning, viewers. Mm -hmm. My name is Bonface Alexander Lum. Mm -hmm. I'm a former JQUAT uh, student leader mm -hmm. as the chairman, current campus. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an undergraduate as well. Mm -hmm. I happen to be um, a former MC aspirant and I'm a ward. Mm -hmm. And I'm glad to be here to share the issues to do with youth and governance. Thank you. All right, Asante Nisana. So we want to ask the question, as a leader, should your reputation be your top priority, especially in our, in, our, in our country? We've seen a lot of drama. We've seen people crying, people being slapped. We'd like to understand, should it be a top priority? <clears throat> I can comfortably say it must be. Mm -hmm. Because as a leader, you must give the, the positive image. You should show people who are you. Mm -hmm. What are you able to of, over? Mm -hmm. What are you able to do mm -hmm. before <coughs> anything else? Mm -hmm. So, as much as my reputation is concerned, it must be the topmost priority as a politician. Okay. Oh, thank you. Uh, <coughs> when you talk about uh, reputation, reputation forms a part of our social virtues that you're supposed to stick with. Mm -hmm. So when you're a leader, you have to lead by example. You have to ensure that your reputation is uh, not questionable mm -hmm. because uh, most of when you're when you're a leader mm -hmm. most of these people most of the young people mm -hmm. the society they usually look up to you they imitate what you do mm -hmm. they really want to be what you are mm -hmm. most of there are so many people who the leaders that we have particularly the politicians are their role models mm -hmm. so your reputation should be a very good one mm -hmm. and it should not be of a questionable character questionable character in politics in kenya does that apply Mm -hmm. uh, th thank you. Uh, I mean, just word on that repu reputation. Mm -hmm. We we need to go back to the constitution mm -hmm. about chapters chapter six of the constitution. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very clear about leadership and integrity. And integrity is uh, you cannot run away from that. Mm -hmm. You must behave in a manner uh, that does not demean the office, the public office you are holding. Mm -hmm. So in this case, if your reputation is 
quite questionable, mm -hmm. then the, the, you, you, you're creating a very bad scenario, a, a very bad precedent to the coming generation. Mm -hmm. So the Article 10 of the Constitution about the, the national values uh, and uh, national values and go of governance mm -hmm. and principles of governance, mm -hmm. they are very clear that you must be in a, in a position that you're able to display integrity of the highest order mm -hmm. and to be able to uh, provide mm -hmm. dignity mm -hmm. to the office you are holding. Mm -hmm. So if a public officer gets into that office and then tries to behave in a manner that it's quite demeaning, mm -hmm. then it makes it, it destroys, distorts the image of the entire country. Mm -hmm. And even those in the leadership position of that rank, mm -hmm. they, they tend to be meaningless mm -hmm. uh, going up. It, in that case, we urge even the leaders who are getting into these public offices, mm -hmm. let's say mo mostly the politicians, mm -hmm. we've gone a, a ahead trying to display in public mm -hmm. uh, the manner that is not display displaying the role they were given. Mm -hmm. A member of parliament is given very key roles to, to, to undertake, mm -hmm. clearly stated in the constitution about representation, legislation and oversight. Mm -hmm. Clearly you have to behave in a manner that you are a legislature. A legislator, you don't have to get into the office and then try to bring out your manners outside from the outside mm -hmm. into the public office. That one is that one is not qualified. Well, but in politics, vendettas are very common. Mm -hmm. I know the, the the Kenyan society we're living is mm -hmm. is so unique yeah? mm -hmm. <coughs> that our leaders of today, you know, the question is, are we able to safeguard our character? Mm -hmm. There is difference between character and reputation. When you are pass you, the kind that, that kind of a leader who safeguards the, the, your reputation, and then your character is questionable, then you are wrong. Mm -hmm. That is why the society is looking up to those guys or people, uh, leaders who are now making a lot of noise in the parliament in the name of building their reputation when they are destroying their character. Mm -hmm. We need to safeguard the values. That mm -hmm. is what we are looking to. Mm -hmm. As a young people, we look at that person. Beside you protecting your reputation, mm -hmm. Are you a man of character? Mm -hmm. Do you have that integrity? Mm -hmm. Do you have that honesty in you that you can display for that young person who is there in the society to emulate you? Mm -hmm. That is what we need to look at. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Uh, in Kenya, I might say that uh, it's true. It's a mm -hmm. unique society, but uh, reputation being the key to any leader mm -hmm. as the main character, I would say, uh, I'm sorry to say that Kenyans, we forget so easily that our leaders, they get to the headlines because of the bad bad stories that they have. Mm. And uh, that is what they, they, they are popular about. Mm. We don't look at what good are they doing, mm. what did we elect them to do. As in, those are the th few things that we should check on. But in Kenya, I would say we are heading the wrong direction in terms of politics. Thank mm -hmm. you. I'm glad that you talked about that because we also want to talk about risk, exposure, with the rise of technology, the use of technology, WhatsApp, social media. It becomes very easy for you to be exposed, as you have seen uh, uh, our women's rep, our audios by leaked people. And, it, and what do you do when something like that happens? I'd like to understand. Is this thing causing much more risk to our reputations and for those who want to pursue leadership? Are you discouraged? Are you scared? Yeah. Okay, to me, I define or I look at reputation as a cloth that you're putting on. Mm -hmm. Once you remove it, you've dented your image. Mm -hmm. So it governs you, it's, it's, it's what you are. Mm -hmm. And uh, social media escalates it, actually, because mm -hmm. nowadays the world has been turned into a village. Mm -hmm. Remember, once you've done something uh, that is awful in the public eye, mm -hmm. it, it can be viewed even uh, with someone outside the country, beyond mm -hmm. the borders. Mm -hmm. So. Even though our, uh, our politicians, mm -hmm. they prosper behind these. Mm -hmm. This is what escalates their name. This is what makes them prosper. Because mm -hmm. we've always been known, our leaders has, have always been known uh, by these bad remarks and bad figures. So, for example, you've seen the case of uh, uh, Sonko and uh, Basaris. Mm -hmm. Basaris. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's not encouraging, but you'll find it uh, that they thrive mm -hmm. behind this. This is the source of their pride now. Mm -hmm. They find pride when doing this. Mm -hmm. Because once you are known, remember, they want something to trend. Mm -hmm. You see views and whatever, mm -hmm. it also counts. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is paling a rot in our society, actually, when you look at it in uh, ethical perspective. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually showing a rot that we are having. And uh, our leadership is, is actually taking another different turn, mm -hmm. where you thrive on wicked things or uh, immoral, actually. Mm -hmm. the, the, the ground, uh, the ground uh, in which you strike uh, uh, mm -hmm. immorality and, and, and uh, moral mm -hmm. has been 
eliminated. Mm -hmm. So it's a playing field. And that's what, now what we see. People are prospering behind that. Okay. You can't deny. Governor, you. what say you? One, uh, social media. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to have more viewers. Everybody mm -hmm. wants to have more followers. Mm -hmm. And for you to attain that, there are things that you will do mm -hmm. to please your followers. Mm -hmm. What do they like? What do they want? Mm -hmm. And as a politician, mm -hmm. most of them, what they do is not the, the right things. Like now, I don't mention names, but mm -hmm. I want to, to be realistic. Mm -hmm. You heard of somebody D minuses. Mm -hmm. You heard of somebody NOI scandals. You heard of somebody Muizi. Mm -hmm. At the end of it, everybody is like, oh, they are is uh, NYC anyway, so whatever mm -hmm. is a uh, D minus, mm -hmm. but at the end of it, he's elevated somewhere. So, mm -hmm. these followers, they are like, when you do something bad or your reputation is bad, that is when they impress you. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? Mm -hmm. And most politicians, others, they even stage mark. Mm -hmm. Are you seeing? They stage manage their they, they stage candles. manage the, the mm -hmm. other things. Mm -hmm. Most of them, they stage, they stage manage, like somebody somewhere I know. Mm -hmm. A student lead a former, but now he's somewhere. Mm -hmm. Most of his things he used to stage manage mm -hmm. for him to become popular. Now mm -hmm. he's some, somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So our reputation, mm -hmm. as much as it's concerned with social media, mm -hmm. whatever that we do, we ma we stage mark some things negatively so that we can have our, our names can. Because how many people do we have outside here who do good things? Mm -hmm. But have you ever seen them on social media mm -hmm. being praised? Mm -hmm. Whenever you you you, pray, you try to to give out of to praise yourself, mm -hmm. everybody's against you. Mm -hmm. Who told you God says do it in silent. But when <laughs> bad things happen, that is when mm -hmm. you they are there. Hey Matoke, hey mm -hmm. are you seeing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the problem we have. Uh, I guess it's for me. Mm -hmm. uh, currently you don't look at the repetition. Mm -hmm. It's about the money. Mm -hmm. You see the money, the amount of money you have, like some of the leaders use money, <coughs> they pay the normal citizens so that they can build someone. Like we saw the case of Sonko and Pasaris. Mm. You see, the state of Sonko helped so many people that mm. they started to help Pasaris. So, mm. at that, because some people don't have money to press mm -hmm. others. The, the microphone. Like this. Mm -hmm. So, you see, people use money mm -hmm. for power or mm -hmm. for not even as the common citizens. We don't look at the repetition, the, the money. Like, mm -hmm. someone give 150 bob, 200, mm -hmm. then I forget about the bad thing mm -hmm. that he or she has done. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh. Oh, if I pick from there, some so we are talking about leaders and particularly politicians. Mm -hmm. So most of these politicians, uh, to them in their minds, they usually have it that they there is no negative publicity and there is no positive uh, mm. publicity. Mm. To them, publicity mm. is just publicity. publicity. Mm -hmm. So particularly, if I quote one Niccolo Machiavelli, mm -hmm. the writer of The Prince, mm -hmm. he says that politics know no morals. Mm -hmm. So there are no morals on, in politics. Mm -hmm. They are not the same. Mm -hmm. So when you see a leader thriving mm -hmm. on something that you perceive as negative, mm -hmm. there are some people who perceive that as victory. Mm -hmm. So, for example, when we have a, uh, let me give an example of uh, the, the Nairobi case that you've mentioned. Mm -hmm. So, we ha here we have the governor. Mm -hmm. The governor talks about the women representative in a, mm -hmm. a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, the women representative, are in return, mm -hmm. she responds also in the same, same way. Mm -hmm. She doesn't try to show that uh, she's a little bit uh, different. Mm -hmm. So, they just do the same, <laughs> one and the same thing. Uh -huh. So, because... Uh, the, the, because we have uh, people who are I exactly I concur with her mm -hmm. that uh, there are some people who are paid mm -hmm. to move because uh, no normal Kenyan mm -hmm. who can wake up from the house mm -hmm. and go and stand behind uh, a mm -hmm. leader who mm -hmm. is giving a press conference mm -hmm. to condemn another leader mm -hmm. or to insult mm -hmm. another leader. Mm -hmm. So these people mostly you'll find that they are given something mm -hmm. so that they can be uh, they can be behind and uh, even different things that them themselves they don't agree with uh, mm -hmm. uh, outside the media so what does that say about the electorate us as the electorate and what does that say when it comes <coughs> to the future you said there's no morals in politics from what i'm hearing but uh, here we have our national values so is all that just paperwork <laughs> okay maybe at my point uh i think uh, issue pertaining uh, moral values i think on my side there is moral values Mm -hmm. But with the electorate, with the people, who at times 
give these people a chance mm -hmm. to diminish everything and the moral values. Mm -hmm. And uh, like for instance, as we see, uh, we are here we are youths, mm -hmm. and a number of youths are those people who are being used mm -hmm. to also to uh, to uh, to kill the moral values. Mm -hmm. Whereby a number of us are not uh, having any jobs, mm -hmm. we have no money, mm -hmm. and a politician uh, once he has been elected to for any uh, public office, mm -hmm. now he uses the money to. Uh, is, is the money has gotten from the from the government mm -hmm. to give it to the youths mm -hmm. who, have, who have no job instead mm -hmm. of giving the youth something mm -hmm. to empower themselves. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, the, the, the empowerment that they give back to the youth is mm -hmm. the money that they have, mm -hmm. who maybe we have stolen from the government or mm -hmm. from uh, elsewhere, mm -hmm. to use it in a wrong way, mm -hmm. to uh, maybe to, to close the eyes, mm -hmm. to give us a, to, uh, to uh, give us that clog in our eyes so that mm -hmm. we can be following them now and then. Mm -hmm. Because once I have money, mm -hmm. and I know there are some people in particular, maybe in my, I'm, I'm a county representative somewhere, mm -hmm. and I know my people have no money, mm -hmm. I use them, I bring them in board, mm -hmm. I give them that something small to kidogo mm -hmm. 200 shillings so that i maybe if i if i if i say something maybe if i quote a story of uh, one of the pa uh, pastor we, whom is well known is mm -hmm. he says something that if i as i cough you're supposed to to be there yeah so this somebody also you see he has money but he's now using mm -hmm. the powers that he has been given mm -hmm. in a wrong manner mm -hmm. so we as electorate it is up to us, and as young people, mm -hmm. we need to stand firm mm -hmm. with the moral values that we have, that we have been ever been taught mm -hmm. since we were born. Mm -hmm. Because I think if we stand in unity, we mm -hmm. can we can always conquer these people. Mm -hmm. And let's stand that uh, let, oh, as youth. Let's always uh, say that there is moral values. Mm -hmm. Let's tell these people if they can't give that moral value, then we can take that moral value mm -hmm. that they are, they want to to uh, to tarnish mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. So that's my take. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, moral values cannot be uh, equated to anything. Mm -hmm. Even if a philosopher has come and bring whatever sort of narration uh, uh, according to the moral value, that mm -hmm. can never be changed. Mm -hmm. in, a, in, a, in a country where we have a, a constitution, a document mm -hmm. that we all have to follow, Mm -hmm. You just have to do that. Mm -hmm. And that one, it's even in the Bible that you've got to respect the authority mm -hmm. and even the, we have uh, the Constitution, mm -hmm. which we have to follow. Wh what am I saying this? That uh, someone said, uh, if you want to say that you've succeeded in, let's say, uh, in governance, then let your successors succeed. In that wow. case, mm -hmm. that our society has been eroded mm -hmm. in a, such a way that even the electorate themselves, they are put in a position, they are not in a, posi they are not in a way to defend themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, they have been impoverished. Mm -hmm. So when a politician comes with, very th with, the, with the money uh, that you can, the, he cannot even himself account for, mm -hmm. the electorate will, com will, will come running, actually, and mm -hmm. in, without questioning. Mm -hmm. And we've seen these cases, and mo the, most of the people that are used in this case are youth, mm -hmm. simply because they have not put structures in place to, be able to ensure that these youth are empowered. Mm -hmm. So they will ensure they, uh, they are driving on structures that will continue impoverishing youth mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. So you'll find that these youth are following and el electing this mid kind of mediocre kind of politicians or leaders. So we've impressed that mediocrity in leadership structures. And we, w going forward, I'm telling you, uh, the, as rotten society as it is right now, we are going to have even very serious politicians getting into, the, into, into national assemblies, counter assemblies. Mm -hmm. And right now, that's why when, it's, when I, I started with the Constitution, competence is quite key. We are here, and the youth I'm seeing around are very much competent. They're supposed to be in these elected offices. Mm -hmm. But it's quite unfortunate you cannot be elected in that office simply because you don't have this, this money. Mm -hmm. you, do, you, are, you, are not, you don't have that character that will, will make, you, make you to have several followers. Mm -hmm. So they are trying to, to tell you that you have to uh, try to distort your morals to be in the position that this electorate, the impoverished uh, uh, electorate, electorates, electorates to follow you. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is this. It's a high time the youth of this country just come to realize that a time has come. They wake up to the realization that we have to embrace uh, competency, people who have ideas and policies in this country. We are not going to follow up politicians who are, who are just uh, uh, preaching hatred and trying to disguise that they are, their leaders. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to condemn that, and I'm, 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 okay, I'm strict okay, on this. Okay, okay, please let us not consume too much time. <laughs> <coughs> Maybe just to finalize on the issue of uh, mm -hmm. the character and uh, technology. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, somebody texted me in the middle in last week mm -hmm. when the incident of that uh, our dear women representative yes, happened. Yes, that, yes. Uh, 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 brother, what, what are you trying to talk? Uh, Rashid Kasim was performing the constitutional mandate that we, the people of Wajir East, are giving him. Mm -hmm. You know, th that is that is a, uh, a fan, a supporter of Rashid Kasim. Mm -hmm. You know, and in the case, we, we intend to support our leaders basing on our ethnicity, mm -hmm. basing on which tribe are you coming from, which clan are you coming from, on our case in the side of Northern Eastern and this other region. Mm -hmm. And that is what is killing us because a system that has been built by the government and the county government right now mm -hmm. is trying to entrench and trying to reduce the value of that young person, mm -hmm. reduce the value of the people who are in that on the ground. Mm -hmm. And that is why you're seeing the issue of, you see in a county like Turkana, mm. a lot of money is being brought there. Mm -hmm. But now the value of that money is not being used because people there are up, a build a system that is uh, trying to say we will only be the only people to control the economy of this of this county. So nobody really cares about their opinion or, or about their reputation anyway. It's no all about one. their money, their clan, and that's it. The only thing is so what power and money. So what solutions can we have when it comes? Okay, for example, um, let me ask you because you're a lady. Mm -hmm. If you were to be in Esther Pasaris's shoes and the way she responded uh, to to the to the drama that the whole expose that happens, fine, the damage is there. You cannot refuse. It is everywhere, it is circulating, you cannot say it is not you. What do you do when the damage has already happened? One, I would go to the court, mm -hmm. at least for, for my rights. Mm -hmm. Then from there, definitely the money will work, mm -hmm. but at least I, I'll have and at least I have, have tried somewhere. Mm -hmm. Then I said I do some civic education to mm -hmm. the people outside mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Like the girl child has, has to be respected. Mm -hmm. That's why the power, money, mm -hmm. you have to be respected. Okay, we yeah. have to be respected, yeah. not being slapped in Wajir. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Can we please hear some of the solutions? I've not heard from you. Would today please hear what you have to say? Okay. Yeah, they can be handy. Yeah. Okay, personally, I would say uh, to the solution of that, personally, here in Kenya, going to court, I wouldn't say it is, uh, it is the best thing to do because even the, the judiciary itself, it's rotten. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so going to court is not really a solution. It's not, a, it's not the solution. The mm -hmm. solution lies in the hands of the people because power is in the, it is in the hands of the people. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like for example, the, the lady who went to Uhuru Park mm -hmm. to campaign for, for anti, she was anti, uh, against uh, the, the corruption story and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. No one supported her. Mm -hmm. It is until we, the youth, we go to the to, to those offices. We cap, we campaign against those those uh, corrupt leaders, and we say they have to get out of those offices. Mm -hmm. Is the day we are going to have change in this country? Mm -hmm. But until then, mm -hmm. we are still going to suffer. Well. The, the, the the change begins with us because we are the source. We are the people who elected these leaders. Mm -hmm. um, and adding to that, I would mm -hmm. say that uh, youth, especially this time when we are. The, the new currencies are, ca are coming into into the system. Mm -hmm. We should be very careful because these same same leaders who are corrupt are going to use us to get to get them to wash those uh, those uh, dirty cash mm -hmm. so that they can still continue being in power. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, now you can hear. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, uh, the issue about uh, uh, as reputation, uh, uh, as I was doing uh, my back international relations, uh, uh, they say that money mm -hmm. is power, and power is money. So the if you have money, things, you can fix uh, it. Yes, uh, in national <laughs> theories, it's called a the national theory. Mm -hmm. Under national theories, they say mm -hmm. money is power, and power is money. Mm -hmm. And that's why you'll see most successful people mm -hmm. uh, are into politics. Mm -hmm. You've seen the likes of Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. It's out of what he has that mm -hmm. he, has, he has gotten the voice. Mm -hmm. But you can find someone uh, on the ground, just like my young fellow here. Mm -hmm. He is well competent, actually. Mm -hmm. He has all that it takes to be a leader. Mm -hmm. But due to the fact that his pocket is not deep enough, Mm -hmm. he cannot attain the seat. Mm -hmm. He cannot get what he wants. You've seen my fellow uh, Vaid, uh, he said he was a, uh, he had contested, yes, uh, he was an aspirant. Oh. Do you know the main reason <laughs> as, why, as to why he never succeeded? <laughs> uh -huh. It's because 
his pocket were not, was not deep, mm -hmm. deep enough, mm -hmm. actually, mm -hmm. to escalate him to such a position. Mm -hmm. So we've embraced uh, the kind of uh, wrong politics per se. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's becoming a tragedy in the country mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, because we have young, young people who are coming up are following these. Okay. And the likes of social media, as you've said, is, is, is the main cause to all these things mm -hmm. because uh, uh, everything is in the public, it's in the public domain mm -hmm. and uh, we can't deny that. So. All right, thank you so much. I'd really, <clears throat> I'd really like to hear your solutions for a damaged reputation. You have not responded to that. What solutions do you have? Okay. I can hear money has already come through. If you have money, you can fix that. What else can you do? Mm, okay, uh, let me start by, by saying that uh, our problem doesn't lie in the money. Mm -hmm. Doesn't lie in the money. Mm -hmm. Our problem lies with a society that has sanitized things that the politicians are doing. Mm -hmm. Not all of them, mm -hmm. but the sanitization that we've given mm -hmm. what politicians do. Mm -hmm. When a politician gives out money, mm -hmm. it doesn't do development projects, mm -hmm. but gets another way to sue us. Mm -hmm. So we, we basically don't see the reason why we should oppose him because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, he's going to come, give us money, and then we sing his name out, and then we forget. Mm -hmm. So sanitization is the main problem. Mm -hmm. So after sanitization, now the society has turned around. Now we, we are starting to look as if you're trying to rewrite the book of lamentations. <laughs> because we are lamenting, yeah. we are not giving solutions. Mm -hmm. Because when you look at what people talk and mm -hmm. what people write, mm -hmm. they just complain throughout and throughout. Mm -hmm. So basically, if we are supposed to give a solution, a solution is very simple. Mm -hmm. Let us as a country implement chapter six mm -hmm. of the constitution where integrity lies. All right. I want to echo my brother directly. Mm -hmm. As he has said that we must echo integrity. Mm -hmm. Another solution that I can give as a person, one, as the youths, we must rise and fight for our own space. As mm -hmm. the president states, fight for it. Mm -hmm. But the problem we have as youths uh, is that we are not united. Mm -hmm. United. Mm -hmm. That is the basic pr problem that we have. And whenever that we want to come together or we want to have uh, forums that can bring us together, mm -hmm. we start fighting ourselves. That's wh why last time I said that we are the enemies of ourselves. Mm -hmm. That's why we cannot try as youths to rise mm -hmm. under those seats mm -hmm. or to have morals mm -hmm. that can take you onto, uh, onto those positions. Mm -hmm. So one, as the youths, we must rise. Rising together and fighting those vices mm -hmm. that are affecting or that are giving us bad reputations and the politicians also. And then let us not be given something so mm -hmm. that we, when you are given, you are, you are like, to, uh, today you are condemning, tomorrow you are praising. Mm -hmm. Because if today you are saying he's Satan, tomorrow you are saying he's God, mm -hmm. who are you? That's true. People need to develop a stand. Yeah, you a must stand, a a stand, proper stand of who you are, mm -hmm. what we're fighting for, mm -hmm. and maintain the status quo and fight for it until the end. Well, there's a theory that I came across that a leader who is a perfectionist or tries to be perfect to make sure that their, their reputation is clean and all that is not trustworthy and usually comes off as unapproachable. Do you agree with that theory? The Bible is clear, madam. Mm -hmm. No man is perfect. No man is perfect. Yes. <laughs> as much as we mm -hmm. want to as a leader, as much, as much as you want to keep the repetition, mm -hmm. as much as you want to be, to be a role model to others, mm -hmm. there are things that they must come as normal. Mm -hmm. Because all of us, we are fallen short. short of the... The glory. Yes. Hallelujah. You know that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, maybe maybe mm -hmm. just to, to echo what you have said. Mm -hmm. uh, in, you know, in leadership, uh, there is no perfection. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's only your actions mm -hmm. that will uh, ele maybe to... Uh, educate the society that there is some aspect of perfection in you. Mm -hmm. And that is why we cannot, we cannot, we are not progressing as a society that we're living now. Mm -hmm. And to, to the solutions, the issue of this reputation and this other money and mm -hmm. whatever, mm -hmm. uh, back in Turkana we are trying to, through Youth in Governance mm -hmm. Initiative, mm -hmm. we are actually mobilizing all the young people mm -hmm. uh, to create that society that we need to validate our ideas. We mm -hmm. need to come up with projects or the ideas or the initiatives that can elevate our status as young people. Because mm -hmm. if you talk of insecurity, mm -hmm. in Turkana County or maybe other these other northern eastern, mm -hmm. we have the problem with security. But now the young people mm -hmm. have been have been silent about it. Mm -hmm. 
uh, you talk about education. Our people are still there. The education system in the Northeastern is still pathetic. Mm -hmm. We still have basic things that we need to offer. Mm -hmm. But now the question is, are we ready as young people to come up with these initiatives? Mm -hmm. Because if we are looking for a national government to offer, and with the likes of the, the, the drama that is going now in the, the national government and the county government, mm -hmm. then we are, we, are, we are expecting death in the gen next generation. Mm. We don't expect that, but we are trying to strive and come up with solutions and ideas. And that is why we are trying to, through Youth in Governance Initiative. I'm glad you're that passionate about mm -hmm. Tukana in your yeah. county. He's really to taking us back there. But but to him, mm -hmm. I, want, I want to thank you, one, for this topic has just come when I've developed something in Nyamira. <laughs> Rise <laughs> for the youth of Nyamira. Uh -huh. One, we are not empowered, mm -hmm. but we are fighting. Mm -hmm. We don't have, but we are fighting. You are fighting corruption. Yourself, you don't have anything. What are you fighting? Mm -hmm. Rise for the youth of Nyamira. I have come with that. I have come up with that forum so that we can be united as youths first. Mm -hmm. Use the opportunities we have, like the youth fund. Mm -hmm. The other week I was at home fighting mm -hmm. for the youth to register groups mm -hmm. so that they can empower themselves first. Mm -hmm. When we fight, we fight as a force, mm -hmm. not just talking in social media, mm -hmm. but in the ground. There's nothing we are doing. Mm -hmm. So as youths, I'm encouraging you wherever you are, and this those who are here, rise mm -hmm. wherever you are, empower yourselves first, mm -hmm. and then condemn. Okay, Mheshimiwa, hey, empower yourself and condemn. Okay, but I still want to hear, because now we have digressed. Does, uh, do you believe that a leader who is perfect or appears to be perfect or tries to be perfect or you don't see any mistakes, you know, on what have you, is a bit un un untrustworthy and unapproachable? I'd like to hear. Uh, yeah, I guess you can't approach such a person because, you know, someone is giving you money, mm -hmm. like these corrupt governors, mm -hmm. you can easily approach them. But... <laughs> Governors like, for example, the Kibuta, Kibuna, Kibuta yes, that guy is working, yes, mm. and not you can't hear so many, you can't see scandals, most of mm. scandals from. Also, mm. news you can't see him on news. Mm -hmm. And like this governor, like Nairobi governor, Sri Dabra, Kiambu governor, such people you love them because they give you money mm -hmm. in return. Mm -hmm. So you can they're easily approachable because mm -hmm. we don't have the, some of the numbers, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Some of us, like those governors, you can't trust them easily because you That's fear no them. Nonsense. Yeah, you fear them. Like, hey, you know, you fear. I don't think you can approach them that easily. Okay, so you kind yeah. of do agree with the theory. Yeah, you do. All right. Wait, can can okay. we hear from uh, our MCA, please? He looks like he really wants to say something. <laughs> At least. Mm. Okay, S such such leaders, uh, they create a barrier with the electorate oh. uh, because you you also to create a personality that uh, is quite interactive mm -hmm. you're quite a uh, uh, you're able to talk to the people mm -hmm. you're, you're able to interact with the people so freely mm -hmm. uh, for, for example my governor mm -hmm. Oparanya mm -hmm. yeah, oh, he, weekly. Oh, ah. yes weekly for Oparanya mm -hmm. they, they, they see mm -hmm. the chairman of, of council of governors mm -hmm. he has done well so far mm -hmm. and I think that's why he has earned that position of the chairmanship mm -hmm. and uh, but the interaction of, and also interaction with the people actually <coughs> that's one that that's what gave him the second the second term mm -hmm. as he goes out mm -hmm. i'm informed that he also wants to be the president of this republic mm -hmm. i wish him well okay please let us not campaign <laughs> <laughs> that, that's okay <laughs> uh, that one aside mm -hmm. but the truth is that uh, he's a man of the people and i've seen such like mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. uh such like governors they're there mm -hmm. you only need to get into the office and get the what you want. Mm -hmm. There's no need for you to fear, mm -hmm. especially when you know what you want. Mm -hmm. So as a, as a person who, who really voted for such a, a leader, mm -hmm. uh, like, uh, let's say, Kibola mm -hmm. he could be an introvert, yes? Mm -hmm. But again, Microphone. Mm -hmm. but again, you know what you want mm -hmm. from, that li from, that, from his leadership. Mm -hmm. And if there is something that you really need to query mm -hmm. in his county, you just need to get, to get there. So okay. we, I'm encouraging you, uh, any other person, just Unless to get Unless you have ulterior position. motives, yeah. that's when you'll feel, you'll feel some fear. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. OK, OK, let me hear. Oh, great. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Well, so uh, maybe if also I give a, an example with my governor back in Sierra, mm -hmm. I think most of, most of the time he has not been in the media. Mm -hmm. And like, uh, also, is that a kind of person whom uh, you, you know, it's not easy that you just go get money <laughs> from him. Mm -hmm. So you have to have a, a, a structure, a criteria. Mm -hmm. You have to have something, a policy, which if you address to him, mm -hmm. he can also address to you mm -hmm. in a positive way, not in a negative way. So so uh, we have to uh, look at this kind of uh, governors and kind of uh, uh, people who are in power who can 
empower us in a positive way. Mm -hmm. Also, I have uh, at my uh, constituency level, I have my MP, mm -hmm. Mr. Elisha. Mm -hmm. He's trying mm -hmm. to bring more of the uh, development. He found some, uh, some infrastructure going on, he's still mm -hmm. on with them. Mm -hmm. In as much, he has, not in, he has never been in that line of, mm -hmm. of politics for long, mm -hmm. but you see somebody who is uh, full of, uh, of, of uh, enthusiastic and is trying his level best mm -hmm. at least to bring change mm -hmm. in the, in the, in the uh, constituency level. Uh, constituency level. Okay. So uh, we need also, as like uh, young people, mm -hmm. we need to stand with these people. We need to, to identify. This, and follow uh, this, the this, examples. Yeah, Kudos example. to those we need governors to identify who have been these, 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 uh, these governors, these politicians, this leader mm -hmm. who, are, who are really striving to help, mm -hmm. uh, help in uh, help in development, mm -hmm. help empower young people, mm -hmm. so that maybe, as you say, I know you said there's no uh, uh, politics here or, or campaigning, mm -hmm. but <laughs> it is good. It is good we echo these people because when somebody does something right, it yes. is good to echo them yes. and give them a hand too. Yes. Yeah, thank you. I like that. I like that. Give them a hand. I appreciate that. Okay. So it's about time we, we conclude this segment, unfortunately. So, yes, yes, yes. So I just have uh, maybe, maybe a parting shot from you. Yeah. Okay, let me. Okay, let me, let me, let me, <coughs> let me start by saying that. Uh, We've had a good discussion. Mm -hmm. That is uh, good. Mm -hmm. But as I've said, mm -hmm. the problem with us mm -hmm. lies in sanitizing mm -hmm. what we are lamenting about. Mm -hmm. So if we stop sanitizing, mm -hmm. we'll have the solutions. Mm -hmm. And the solution lies with the people and lies in the Constitution. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. The solution, the Constitution, and the people. Turkana. Yes. Oi, I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> but okay. I need to talk about that. Fear not, stand out, <laughs> fight for your own space as a youth. Mm -hmm. Safeguard your reputation mm -hmm. first before mm -hmm. you fight others. Mm -hmm. Have that integrity that you are telling others to have. Mm -hmm. Tell them what is supposed to be done. Mm -hmm. Criticize positively. Mm -hmm. Then you are a leader to be embraced. Embrace. As youth, let's, as, as let's not be cheap. Mm -hmm. Let's focus with what, 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 you are, what you are targeting to get. Yeah. Let's not be cheap. I like that. I really like that one. <laughs> All right. As youth, my final conclusion is that let's avoid party politics. It's mm -hmm. also bringing, it's the main route to all this bad reputation. Mm -hmm. Because once you're affiliated to a certain party, mm -hmm. you have a sure deal, however much your reputation is dented. Mm -hmm. So this uh, it really is a blow to us and the kind of leadership we have. Great. Turkana. <laughs> oh, yeah. Sure. Uh, as a finalist, I would say, uh, together we stand. You know, yeah, um, you know, our, our part we fall. So it's time with the youth we stand mm -hmm. and we fight for our rights. Mm -hmm. uh, my, my query uh, goes, and my message actually mm -hmm. goes to the all the young people mm -hmm. that uh, mm -hmm. we need to safeguard the character and mm -hmm. not the reputation. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You safeguard your character mm -hmm. and not the reputation. And my message to the young people across mm -hmm. the county of mm -hmm. Northeastern or maybe Turkana mm -hmm. is that. Uh, we need to validate our ideas, mm -hmm. come up with projects, mm -hmm. initiatives that can create development in our social, economical aspect of the Tukana people and maybe the northern eastern part of Tukana. And they, 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 those are the areas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much for, for representing them today. MCA, please, we have to give me a break now. So uh, we have to stop and we need to pave the way for Man Talk. So uh, my name is Hilda Wadidi. You've been watching our youth and politics. Please do not go anywhere. We do this every Monday. Thank you guys so much for coming. I know some of you come from very far. Asante, Nisana, blessings upon you. And all right, have a good day. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>